Meet Pam, a relationship coach looking to grow her email list. So she wants to use a lead magnet funnel to do just that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead magnet funnel or a lead generation funnel using high level. Okay, so I've got a checklist here um, that we will go through to create the lead magnet funnel. So I think I'll probably split this video like into a series, but let's, let's see how we get on. All right, so the first thing on the checklist is to create the lead magnet. So what's a lead magnet? It's something, a valuable, a valuable resource that you give away for free in exchange for an email address. So I give that lead magnet and you give me your email address. So that is what a lead magnet is. And what Pam intends to do is to give away this relationship handbook as a PDF to her or, or people to have that opt in for it. So this is a relationship handbook, questions you need to answer or you need an answer to before you say, I do. So answer to these questions may save your marriage. You can use Canva to create it. And that's what we've done here. You use Canva to create the lead magnet or you can get someone on, in Fiverr um, to, create, to create it for you. Okay, so what we have to do now is to download that as a PDF, download all the pages and download. So a lead magnet could be, like she's done here, a PDF, it could be an audio file, it could be a mini course, a free course, whatever. The most important thing is that it's valuable, it's, it is free, okay? All right, so that's the relationship handbook as a PDF file, so save. Okay, so we can tick that off. The next thing on high level, is to upload the lead magnet PDF to the media library. I think I have got high level here, yes. So a high level um, SaaS product is called Tech is Bliss. And to upload that PDF onto high level, so you go to settings and you go to media, open media library, and let's create a new folder for it. So let's call it lead magnet, and that's for Pam. All right, save, that's the folder, so in the folder, Let's upload the file. That's the relationship handbook and we open it. Okay. So it will make sense over time why we, we do that first. Okay. So that's that one. Cool. The next thing is to copy for the opt-in page or the and copy for the thank you page. So what do I mean by that? Let's look at this funnel flow here for our lead magnet funnel. So the idea here is that on the opt-in page. So people are going to land on the opt-in page, see information about the handbook, information about Pam, and decide to opt-in for it. Decide, yes, they want this. Give you their name, give you their email address. And then after they do that, we will display a thank you page. Once they enter the information, um, we'll display the thank you page. And we would also send them an email thanking them for, for subscribing or congratulating them for, for opting in and giving them uh, a link to the PDF or or and uh, um, a uh, the PDF has an attachment in the email. Okay, so decide what you want to do, uh, what she's going to do. But I, I think she just give them a link link to it as opposed to attaching it in the email because we don't want it the file to be too big and and um, you know um, emails can be a large file and people might not find it funny that you're sending them a large file in an email. So yes, yeah, so a link link will do. Uh, all right, so opt-in page. After that, after they, they've opted in, we display the thank you page, and then the the subscribers will be sent uh, a thank you email. Then over time, in order to nurture that list, Pam will send them a couple of nurture emails. But in this video, we're only focusing on this bit here. All right. Okay. So what do we mean by copy? So the copy that will go on this page for the opt-in page and then the copy that will go on the thank you page. Now, you might be wondering why are we thinking about copy first? Why copy first? Because you see, in the approach or the framework we have, the copy enables you to determine the structure of the page which aids the design of the page, okay? So you do your copy first and then that helps you to know how to structure the page and that helps you to know how to 
that helps you with the design of the page. So in our case here, we've got a, a layout of the copy. This is our headline, unlock the secrets of, to lasting love. That's subheadline. And then the form for them to enter their name and email and the call to action on the form will be download your free handbook now. And that'll be like the subtext. Okay. And that's the body text um, so that people get to know more about Palm. Um, yeah. So that's the body text. So that's for the opt-in page. And that's the copy for the thank you page. Again, congratulating people on, on, on downloading the or wanting the relationship handbook. Um, some body text. The body text really is the next step. So the thank you page is a, is a really, really fantastic page because everybody that opts in to the lead magnet must land on your thank you page. So th the thank you page is a good way for you to advertise more about yourself and what you have to offer. So when people opt in for your lead magnet, tell them what the next steps are and then also use this page to promote um, yourself and your service offering. So if some people use it to upsell, some people use it like Pam is doing here. She's telling them what the next steps are. Check your email address and also check, check your check your inbox and also check your spam folder um, for, for, for it. And then what she wants to do really, she wants to grow her Facebook group. So she's going, okay, telling people about the Facebook group, telling people about YouTube channel. And then she has a coaching program that will launch in march and there'll be a call to action for people to join her her her, her, her wait list for the coaching program that will be um delivered or that will start in march so again your thank you page is a fantastic page to leverage yeah promote yourself and promote the services that you offer without being salesy okay so some people on the thank you page also put the video of themselves build trust there's yeah, thanking people for downloading the lead magnet again you're trying to build trust of your of your audience so yeah so you could do a video or you could do copy like Pam has got here so with this copy in mind we can cancel that off or, 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 or mark that has done and the next thing is now to do the design um, you could use canva for this i've used figma so again with the copy we know the structure of the page and then it can help us with our design all right, so let me show you what I've got for the design for the opt-in page and thank you page. Oh, yeah, so we've got Figma here. And so, yes, so, um, right, so that's how the intent, the, oh, the intent, the lead magnet opt-in to look like. And we're going to build that out on high level. And what I've got on here is I've got the different assets. So I've pulled the background here and i've also pulled the different assets design assets that we're going to need to build out our page on this page we're going to need this background we're going to need this element here or this yeah so this image element or this image um yeah element here and we're also going to need this so that's why i've pulled that out separately we're going to download that and and, and use that in our build out on, on high level and then this is going to how how the thank you page will be so remember what we had here, this is the headline, the subheadline, the body text, and then joining her Facebook group, YouTube channel, and the and that's your CTA, yeah? Okay, and we also have the footer as well. So again, I'm going to need that as the background when we're going to build out on high level. But potentially, we need the star as well. So all we can do is we can just make a copy of that. And then, so I'm going to probably need the star as well. All right, <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. So yeah, cool. So we've got the design, all right, and then we've got the different assets that we're going to need in our build out, all separated out. Fantastic. Okay. So we click on that. We've got the design for our opt-in page. We've got the design for our thank you page. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to stop here. In the next video, we will now get onto high level on how we are going to configure our email address because we're going to need an email to send out the thank you uh, email and then actual build out of the funnel opt-in page and thank you page, which is the build out of these two on high level and a copy for our thank you email. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we'll stop here. So watch out for part two of this video where we continue on creating uh, a lead magnet funnel using high level.